I'm going to explain the scenario to you that happens more often than you think. Now, in families where there is still a family book, <laughs> there is still, oh, your, your great, great uncle Carlisle conquered the left side of Nigeria. There is still like a crescent from the family. You know, we used to we have a castle over here and, you know, there's a certain kind of rabbit that is always in that area. And so that's why that's on the crest sign. And, you know, here's a couple of trees and, you know, your, your father. So when there is a family with the lineage and they have been accepted. OK, accepted is a term that is used within the societies to determine whether you're still out on one of those fringe networks of uh, pretend to be societies, secret societies, or you're really in uh, to the to the, o the overall agenda. Right. And, and to and the uh, credentials for that is, is called to be accepted. OK, so in that place of being accepted, it is for sure like a heraldy. OK, where there is even beings that are knights. Lords, barons, all these kind of titles. OK, so in these family structures, which are the ones because they've been continuously passing money down and continuously cont containing and taking resources and amassing wealth. In that structure, there also is a lot of them more than you think. <laughs> and in that. They have to create they have a certain kind of ranking system. I'm getting to something here. And this ranking system has to do with. If you are three times removed from the heir, OK, so this means that you're not the first son, you're not the second son, you're the third son, OK, or and on down, fourth son, fifth son. Now, when you are born, you have nothing in, in that world, OK? If you are not an heir, you're not even next of heir. And I think it's the fourth. So you're not even next of heir. And so because of that, and I'm talking about this is what happens to a child being born in this atmosphere. Because of that, you now must earn your keep for you to even be accepted into certain places. For you may even to be able to see your own father. <laughs> this is how deep it gets that you can't even be admitted into seeing your flesh and blood father until you achieve or accomplish something. It's kind of like. You know, where Lord Mayor Rothschild, you know, how he tr treated his sons and he, they could never even call him by his name. This is normal in the heraldy. Like you can't see your father until you achieve something. So this child then then glances over and says, so what is an achievement? And now remind you, what's happening here is, is that there is already a chain code, meaning hereditary situations of the father, the father's father and all that passing down into this part being's lineage. So that, this being is going to say, well, how can I be accepted? And then they say, well, go and find some examples of those who got accepted. Duh. Those are going to be your mentors. Then they'll go and they'll find, you know, the great uncle that's a swashbuckler and another uncle that did this and another uncle that did this. And all of their deeds will have been to destroy, to steal, to kill, to rape, to pillage. This is. What they're taught right away as if you want to be looked up to here, you need to do this and accomplish something in this field. You know, you need to go take over Nigeria, basically, and then come back and or you need to make some music. This is how they do the bottle. Like you need to make some music, throw everybody in a trance and, and, and bring more heraldy and, 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 and great feelings towards our country. And if you hit Billboard... 100 five or six times with songs you know what I mean that everybody is in that trance and taking on that program like they got their computer what's that one they got uh, uh, it's, so, it's somewhat about like the, like the day I used to remember and the bells of Roman Catholic choir singing and all this stuff and then everybody be in there from all sorts of countries even Hispanics they be in there yes Yes, and it's just got them all on the pop and circumstance juice. And it's only bringing more power and more <laughs> diabolical resources for the same beings that are actually destroying us to for them to keep doing that. And then because you can't figure out, well, I thought he was nice. Why is he doing that? It's because since he and she was a child, they were taught and trained and raised in a way to say, hey, if somebody comes and says something good about you, 
it better be because you're really fooling them and you're doing something bad. Is the only way that should be looked at as you're doing something good. They love when someone comes and tells them, hey, you poisoned 1,203 people and took the whole village. Yay! Oh, wow. Yeah, he's a real. Oh, look at him. Take it after his whole father. You see, this is where we're dealing with. And we're dealing with that from beings that started with like that as a child. And in my life. I've encountered some of these beings from time to time, and I'm here to tell you that they are not recoverable, at least based on the ancient technology that we've been able to uh, to uh, unearth thus far. So it's no reason in having this state of mind that is false and you thinking that it's somehow separating you and causing you di- uh, 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 division because you're not putting things in their proper place and realizing why these beings do what they do. And why you should be always on guard, like just being aware of this happening. Because if your guard is down and you're like, you know what, all is all. You'll be over there at a Madonna concert. You'll be all over there listening to this president and talk about what he wants to do. And then you'll be over there. You'll be over there signing papers and shit and and contributing even money and buying up all of these folks crap to forever keep this happening in the code. So you can see why then that there would be beings that would come from what you would call the future that would have a vested interest in actually fixing this situation that's actually happening here. I don't want you for one moment to believe that you are alone and that you're the only one that is working on this. And I want you to also know that this is surgeons work because we're still trying to salvage as many human beings as possible that haven't been corrupted. And we're always looking for more beings that are going to unlock their uniqueness and actually use their power to deal with correcting this distortion and this spell and this schism. Okay?